I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Let's wrap some text around a circle using Inkscape. So here we are inside of Inkscape. Let's choose the circle and ellipses tool. If you click shift and control, it'll give you a nice clean circle. And then you wanna bring that into just anywhere in the center of the page. Choose the text selection tool, and I've got Arial set up. So wrap text. From here, let's just clean it up. There's a, a menu called Align and Distribute. It's up here if, it's, if you don't have it already populated. If you click on that, it'll allow you to just bring everything together. The effect will still work if you're randomly, but just to keep it clean. So page, uh, relative to page is what I have it set to. You could also do relative to last selected. So let's just keep it on relative to page. So you wanna make sure you have your text highlighted, push shift, and then click on your circle. And up here, there's a text, put on path. And there you have it, but we're upside down. To bring it right side up, just click off into the middle of nowhere and then choose your text, bring it up out of the way, double click, you get the curved arrows on the corner and you can rotate it right side up. And then if you really wanna be exact, on the ruler bar, pull down, it'll bring a guideline. And that is pretty close, fine tuned. So zoom in again, little trick, push control and then scroll up, you can get closer. So you always wanna make sure your arrows are curved if you're gonna be uh, rotating around the axis. Good. Cool thing about having the circle, get rid of the guideline, just delete it. Get, just, just get, out of, get out of here. Come on guidelines, you gotta be so exact. You just bring the guideline down and just delete it. Got it. <laughs> or this happens. One <laughs> super important tip is control Z. It's called undo. Uh, anyway, that's it. So I'll do a quick, let's, um, let's start over from scratch. Just a quick refresher on all of it. The tips get everything off my page here. All right, this is the quick run through. One, get your circle, control shift, then choose your text. Thank you. If you wanna get real technical from the first video I did, you can choose the um, kerning a little bit more. And then you wanna click on both. This is on the Align and Distribute page. Uh, we'll go to Page Center. And then click, yeah, you can keep them both selected. And then choose Text, Put on Path. That's the simplest way, just go grab your thing again. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to put the text upside down on the bottom. So if you're making a logo or some type of branding, you want to have the, the top part, thank you, and then the bottom part, you're welcome or something. And that's it, see ya.